Good morning guys, welcome back or to the channel. In today's video, I wanted to go over something with y'all, um, talking about the toolbox. So, y'all know I made a video uh, a couple weeks ago, I think, talking about some of the pros and cons of having a truck bed toolbox. Well, we took the thing out. <laughs> uh, long story short, I had to go get some stuff from my mom's. I needed the full truck bed. It made sense to just take the thing out. Um, and to be completely honest with y'all, I don't think we're putting it back in. So let's hop back here and I'll go over a few more interesting things about these uh, truck boxes. So this is the same reason why I don't like the um, plastic bed liners like the blue truck has because they trap dirt and everything else underneath of them. So, as y'all know from here, this truck bed stays pretty clean, right? Um, keep the cover on it. I've had the cover on here for six months or so. And look at all of the crap in here. That was all hidden under the toolbox. Now, that oil can there, little container, I uh, was beside it, and that block of wood. But as far as all of the uh, hay, the sticks, the leaves, the dirt, it's pretty bad. Uh, and some of this has come out too. This is not all of it from when we pulled the uh, box, but that is uh, that is one of the big reasons why, another reason why I wanted to go ahead and take the box out. And one of the big factors as to why it's probably not going back in, um, you know, it's nice having the whole bed back but stuff like that can cause issues um you know especially if you have a northern vehicle um you know stuff like that and i think if i remember right i have a picture of when we took the liner out of the white truck it had a plastic bed liner in it from the factory and uh yeah. It wasn't good. So I think we put, oh, hold on. Let me go get the keys, unlock this tailgate. All right, so <laughs> we put the box back here in the bed of the blue truck. And as you can see, it takes up <laughs> the entire bed. But uh, as you've seen from the white truck, um, if I can find a picture put it up here on the screen of when we removed it but stuff like this just traps dirt and dust and mud and everything else as you can see from here um so it's kind of the kind of the bad thing about stuff like this um you know in this blue truck this is a factory liner that had a factory liner in it. 6 0 did not, um, kind of luckily, but they just, I don't know. Down here in the south, here in Arkansas, it's not a huge, huge thing, but I know up north, especially, stuff like fender flares, bed liners, the plastic drop in liners that is uh toolboxes stuff like that tend to rust out bed floors uh bulkheads all that kind of stuff so and this puts in perspective here i mean this truck had that box in there without a bed cover for about mm, i would say a year or so somewhere around a year and this is 
the mess from that. I don't want to unroll the cover, but I mean, you can just see up in there the uh, amount of crap that is collected up there. So, I need to get that cleaned out. Um, and if you don't know, truck beds have uh, like a wheat pole in them for moisture, rainwater, you know, whatever else. But when stuff gets trapped in the bed like this, those wheat poles get filled up. Your truck bed collects water. Uh, no bueno. That's how stuff gets rusted out, you know, so on and so forth. Um, and, you know, that can happen with L tanks. It can happen with, you know, just whatever. Um, you know, stuff that stuff gets trapped underneath that stuff. You can't clean it out unless you take the thing out. And, uh, well, that's always a pain. But, I mean, you guys know as well as I do, stuff like that generally doesn't get cleaned. Um, it's kind of like the roof of a lifted truck <laughs> or a lot of pickup trucks in general. Um, you know, stuff that's hard to get to generally doesn't get cleaned and stuff like that. I mean, y'all know as well as I do again that you're not going to pull your toolbox out of the bed of your truck every so often when you go to wash the thing. Uh, same thing with L tanks, you know, and doing fuel lines and uh, all that stuff. If you have a siphon set up or if your toolbox is mounted, you're not going to pull the go through all the hassle to unbolt the thing, take it out, you know, so on and so forth uh, for cleaning. So stuff like this happens. Um, all the mud and, you know, whatever else gets trapped up under that box. It sits there for years and years. Um, you know, say like if you had a new truck um, or you bought a truck brand new, steel body truck, and um, you put a toolbox in it, first week you have the thing and you have the truck for 10, 15 years, you don't never take it out. I mean, could you imagine the amount of junk underneath of that box, you know, 10, 15 years down the road, uh, especially if you don't have a cover. Um, you know, it's just kind of a, it's just kind of an interesting situation there. Um, now, I know the, this is more susceptible to the undermount boxes because they sit flat on the bed floor. Um, but, I mean, even the, the I don't know what you call them. The regular boxes that sit on top of the bed rails, they have, you know, a pretty good gap up underneath the box. So you can clean under there, but it's stuff's going to get blown up underneath it. And, you know, you got to figure out how to clean that thing out. Um, and again, the same thing with, you know, folks watching the roofs on trucks and lifted trucks and whatnot. Um, you're not going to get on your hands and knees in the bed of your truck with a water hose and soap and water and wash underneath of your toolbox. Uh, that's one of them convenience things. Again, it's not very convenient, so most folks ain't gonna do it. Um, so, you know, you're not, you're not in much better of a situation there. Um, so, like I said, that's just a, that's just a whole other reason uh, why that's probably not gonna go back in the bed of this truck um, I took all my straps out and they're back here I need to get those rolled up and put them behind the seat um, and then it's my fuel treatment stuff there I'll probably put it behind the seat as well and like I've mentioned I think I want to get some swing cases uh, to put that kind of stuff in that way it's not hanging out in the cab of the truck rattling around making noise um, and if you don't know, swing cases mount on the very back of the bed and they don't stick out much more than the fender wells. So you maintain the entire length of your truck bed. Um, and then 
they're super simple to take out if you need to remove them uh, for whatever reason um so i've been thinking about getting a set of those uh if anybody has some swing cases drop a comment down below let me know how do you like them um i don't i don't think i know anybody that has any um so i can't really get a review on anything like that but if you do uh, drop a comment let me know uh, i'd be interested to see what people have to say about them but anyway guys i would reckon that's probably going to be a wrap for today's video um, like i mentioned in the last video really intended on working on the 300 today but as you can see it's not the best weather and the car sitting outside so it's all wet um and it's generally not a good thing to attempt body work on wet panels because generally body filler and all that kind of stuff don't mix very well with rain um so that's kind of where we're at with that but i do want to get to work on that car here very soon i think i have an idea of how i want to go about doing everything uh, i've been thinking about it uh, quite a bit over the last week um that's why i haven't filmed any videos over the last week or so is uh i've <laughs> been stuck in here for the most part my arm let me tell y'all it ain't no joke so as most of y'all know or some of y'all know i think i mentioned this i broke my elbow when i was five or six something like that on a four-wheeler flipped the thing landed on my arm shattered it um <laughs> so i got i got plates in here i got screws metal elbow all that stuff and uh with this weather coming in that uh you know the people always talk about um when you have plates and stuff in your arms or whatever else you feel it when the weather changes that ain't no joke uh because about the last week i haven't been able to just as much as pick my arm up uh without my sharp pain running down my arm so today's been the first like real day where i've been kind of able to at least hold the camera in my right arm as you can see um so anyway like i said guys that's probably going to be a wrap for today's video if you guys enjoyed today's video or possibly found it helpful please drop a like and comment down below hit that subscribe button thanks for watching guys and i hope everybody has a great day